Hey, good afternoon. Hey, look, what I want to do really quickly is kind of dispel a, uh, I don't know, something that, that was kind of taught. Came from old school uh, and somehow it got passed down. And I want to share this with you ladies because it's something that you really want to want to think about with regard to the type of man um, that you want to be with um, and the thought processes that you want to have. And what do I mean? One of the things that I've heard over the years is that uh, and actually, uh, Ryan Green talked about this, uh, actually in chapter 12, uh, and it's about old school passed down this thing, all right, that never love a man, uh, never, how does it go, never love a man more than he loves you, okay, and that um, you always want to have like a secret stash, like some running money, just in case something happens, all right. Right, let's just think about how what type of energy we're bringing into the situation. So you're walking into the relationship saying, "I'm not going to love you, sir, more than you love me. I want to I want to be with you. You want to get with a man that loves you more than you love him." So you're intensely going to pull back on some of your love or you're going to keep searching and finding somebody who loves you more. So what? When you like find you're loving him more, what do you do? Like leave him? Or like break up with him and then go get with somebody that you love a little bit less than he loves you? That's stupid. Okay, that doesn't even make any sense. Um a lot of times when when we're when we're thinking to ourselves about some of these things that we've been taught from old school, we'll think about it. Shouldn't you be loving somebody wholeheartedly? You want them to love you wholeheartedly. Um, but you want to love them half heartedly. And here's the thing. For the secret stash stuff, let's just go ahead and, and put this out there, all right? If you have a plan B, most of the time plan B becomes plan A. And so what do I mean by that? If you if you you're basically having a secret stash just in case what he leaves you or um you have to leave him or whatever case it be. So what you're basically doing is you're pulling the energy into your relationship of you know what, you might possibly leave me or I might have to get out of this thing. So you're pulling that energy into your relationship. And you're expecting it to last. All right. If you treat somebody as if they might possibly leave you, eventually they're going to leave you. And or you're treating them less than what they really deserve. That's not right. So you should be going. In, if you can't go into this marriage or into this relationship wholeheartedly, then you don't even need to be in it. You kind of need to go sit on somebody's couch for a little while. And it's okay. But there's some counseling that you probably need to go through because if you don't think that you can love somebody wholeheartedly, but you expect to be loved wholeheartedly, there's some alternate conversations that, that you need to be having with um, some counseling and things of that nature, some some type of guidance, some type of mentor, all right? Because here's the thing. You say, well, what if? What if the person leaves you? Well, let's think about the, all the other what ifs that you go wholeheartedly into every single day. There's an accident that happens every 16 seconds. A car accident happens every 16 seconds, yet you get in your car every morning and you drive to work and then you drive home. You put you put your kids in that car. So you, you put all your trust behind a vehicle and you can get into an accident, but you keep getting into it every single day. Jobs, people get laid off. They get fired for no reason, whatever case it be. You still got a job. You still looking for a job, but what, what what if they fire you on day two, but you still going to get a job? So it, I can go on with examples on and on, but at the end of the day, uh, we kind of really need to pay attention to some of the thought processes. We're always looking for things externally to hurt our relationship, but there's a lot of internal. So let's just start kind of revamping our minds a little bit. If you want to be loved wholeheartedly, you need to be able to go into the relationship loving wholeheartedly and not thinking about leaving or somebody leaving you.